Solder stencils are thin sheets of metal or polymer with a series of holes matching the footprint pads of a printed circuit board or PCB. They are used to assist in applying the appropriate amount of solder paste to the correct areas of a PCB for surface mount components. Standard template stencils are available for breakout boards. A PCB manufacturer may offer custom stencils matching the layout of a custom PCB. Solder stencils are used in automated PCB assembly processes, but may also be used in non-automated assembly for prototype and small quantity board production using the following process. Begin by creating a frame around the PCB that is to have the solder paste applied by using materials that are the same thickness as the PCB. To ensure that the stencil lays flat, the frame should be larger than the stencil. Any warping of the stencil may result in excess solder paste working its way under the stencil. Secure the frame to the work surface with tape to prevent any movement of the PCB. Scrap PCBs are often used to create the frame. Place the stencil over the PCB and frame. Align the holes in the stencil on the pads of the PCB. Use the finest pitch footprint as a guide to ensure proper alignment. Once aligned, use a piece of tape along one side of the stencil to act as a hinge and secure the stencil to the frame. Once the solder paste has reached room temperature, apply a generous amount of solder between the stencil edge and cutout footprint, avoiding direct application over the template. A squeegee, flexible putty knife, or filling knife can be used as long as it's wider than the PCB. Drag the solder paste across the stencil openings, keeping the blade or squeegee at a 45 degree angle, maintaining consistent pressure. Avoid going across the stencil multiple times as this may push excess paste through the holes and under the stencil, making it difficult to clean. Do not attempt to wipe any excess solder paste left on the PCB, as this could push paste into vias and holes resulting in stray solder balls. Carefully lift the stencil and remove the PCB from the frame. Visually inspect the PCB for paste coverage. Remember that solder paste is quite forgiving, so results do not need to be perfect. If paste is not centered on the pad, surface tension will pull the solder and component into place during reflow. If results are satisfactory, place SMD components using a fine tip tweezer or vacuum pen and reflow the board. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean the solder paste from the stencil once you are finished applying solder paste to all your PCBs. Now that you've learned how to apply solder paste using a stencil, you can start designing your next SMD project with confidence. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!